Good morning, everyone. So you're probably wondering why I'm not uh, filming from my shop this morning, uh, from my workout room, um, all sweaty and right after my workout because, let me tell you this, are you ready for this? I didn't sleep a wink last night. Like, I don't even think my eyes shut. I have been up for over 24 hours and um, really, I mean, I don't want to say for no reason at all, but um, because there is a reason, uh, but I'm not going to share it with you because it's personal, but I made a commitment to share my journey uh, throughout this second round and I'm making good on that, uh, on that promise. And I always promise to be real and raw. Um, for a few reasons that I'm going to explain here, uh, but I wanted to uh, just come on uh, after I had kind of just rejuvenated myself after not sleeping for 24 hours. I have a big day ahead of me. Um, I had a lot. I have a lot of things that I need to head out and do. Um, a lot of things on my plate, and um, I'm feeling good. And I want to be as real and raw as possible with you guys so that you can understand how, you know, despite life being hard, how you can still make good on your commitments even when life knocks you down. Because to be completely honest, that's how the successful are successful. When life knocks them down, they don't take an off day. They don't say, oh, I'm going to give myself a pass because life really hit me hard and I deserve some time off. Yeah, no. When you make a commitment to something and life knocks you down, you stand up and you stare it in the face and you say, not today. Not today. <laughs> That's what you say. All right. So um, let me just kind of touch base a little bit. So today was um, a strength day, and uh, which means it was a weights day. It was a 45 minute workout that I knocked out at 4:30 a.m. this morning. Good morning, Tracy. Um, and uh, and so when I went down there, I was wide awake. I mean, I was wide awake, and I was took my pre-workout and I got it done. You know, I just started that workout and I fired it up. And um, I have to be honest with you, you know, the thing that's stirring in me right now, the thing that is um, heavy on my heart, the reason why I did not sleep last night um, was weighing on me the entire workout. And to be completely honest, I felt incredibly numb the entire time during that workout. This 45 minute strength workout is one of the hardest workouts of the Shift Shop program. Okay, um, I, I did, have a chance to do it last round and it's one of my favorites and I can remember it being such an ass kicker of a workout um, and it was a struggle to get through and today I was so completely numb that I felt like I didn't feel any of the workout I mean I was trust me I was sweating and I was drenched in sweat and you know I was you know struggling to pull those weights but mentally I was completely numb and that right there, I mean, I could have gotten, you know, 15 minutes into the workout, 20 minutes into the workout and said, you know what, screw this, I'm, I'm not doing this. Life is just really coming down on me and I don't give a you know what, <laughs> you know, but I didn't, you know, because life is hard. Life is harder than any workout, if you ask me, you know what I mean? And if you ask me, Workouts give us empowerment. Workouts give us confidence. Workouts give us a new awakening, a sense of I did it when it's done. And you know what? That hard life is going to be there waiting for you whether you get in your workout or not. So what's it going to be? What choice are you going to make? Are you going to suck it up and you're going to do the workout and you're going to feel 100% better to take on the hard, li hard life that you were handed you know, that day or that night? Or are you gonna say, no, I'm not gonna do my workout and then feel pissed off because you didn't do your workout and then go deal with the hard life stuff and, and make it 10 times more harder to deal with, right? So I, I mean, there's a little bit of perspective right there. Um, you know, the other thing I wanted to share too is that, you know, yesterday when I came on live uh, to after my workout, I was like on cloud freaking nine. 
okay? Like everything was high, everything was great. Um, I was feeling amazing for a, for a Monday and, and then Tuesday comes and uh, seriously, Last night felt like I was run over by a truck and smacked in the side of the face, you know, by Mike Tyson with life. And it's so crazy how you, how fast you can go from high to low. You know, even somebody like me who seemingly seems to have her shit together all the time, but that's not the case because I am not exempt from life and life happening to me. However, I still get my workout in after not sleeping for 24 hours and um, somehow I still have the energy to keep on going. Like I, I totally could take a nap later today if I wanted to. I don't know if that's gonna happen, maybe, but I have shopping to do today and I love to shop and I'm redecorating my, my, my office here. Okay, it's half office, half family room, but um, you know, we have, you know, despite, you know, crazy life things happening that aren't so great right now, um, but we also have some crazy awesome life things that are really great happening right now. So it's it's a weird mix, okay? It's enough to make you not sleep for 24 four hours. But I'm but that's the thing that you know, people who are successful do. You know, they get up and they do the do no matter what. You know what I mean? And and I truly feel like that's the shift. That's the shift. All right? I've been doing the shift shop for going on five weeks now, not only has my body shifted, you guys have seen my before and after pictures, um, tomorrow we take another um, after picture that we have to submit to the company, so maybe I'll share those, maybe I won't. If you're in my sneak peek page, maybe I'll share them in the sneak peek page, but I don't know that I'm gonna share them publicly. Um, so not only has my body shifted and changed because of the workouts, because of the nutrition plan, but my mind has completely shifted. Because I can tell you right now, maybe before this program, I would have said, you know what, fuck it. I'm not going to, I'm not working out today. You know, I'm just going to give myself a pass. But I'm not going to do that. You know, I, I truly believe that somewhere in these past five weeks, I've made a mental shift. And you know what? I'm not doing anything to jeopardize that. And I'm going to keep going with that. Because that's what this program is about. This program is more than about the physical shift or the nutritional shift. This is about the mental shift. And that's what Chris brings every single time when you show up to one of his workouts. All right. So, um, so yeah. And, and, and I know this isn't one of my, you know, upbeat, uh, you know, Facebook lives, but, uh, I, I I strive to be to be real and raw because I'm gonna tell you right now there are people out there who are gonna fake it, fake it, fake it, and not show the 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 real side of life. They're gonna they're gonna make you think that everything is all hunky dory, and let me tell you that that helps absolutely nobody. All right, because nobody is exempt from life smacking them down. They might think that they're helping people by. Con- continuing to be so cheery and upbeat and always spread, you know, the positive. But you know what? Let's come back down to earth for a second and just share some real life here because we're all dealing with real life. And what is our end goal? Just to kind of get through it and to not derail, to do the things that we need to do in order to, you know, keep us on the straight and narrow and not spiral out of control when life gets thrown at us, right? I think that's the shift. I think that's the mental shift, and that's what this program is about, and um, I can't believe it's day nine of the second round, which means we were like halfway through the second round, basically, and next week is the last week, and I cannot wait to bring this program to you guys. I cannot wait to lead a group of people going through this, and not only shifting their bodies physically and nutritionally, but watching them go through the mental shift, because it's real and it's raw and if you are open to it you will feel such an amazing shift in your mindset that you won't even be the same person you were when you started on day one once you reach day 21 you will be a completely transformed person who has pretty much given you know birth to new greatness that they didn't even know that they had you know what i mean it's kind of like you saying to your old self, I'm done with you. And you've given birth to the new you. And you're on to the bigger and better, the next level that you know that you can get to. 
That's what I love about this program. And that's what it's bringing. So um, I will take all the positive vibes and all the prayers that you guys can send to me. Uh, and I'm going to take them with me and... Hopefully, maybe I'll get a nap in later or go to bed early tonight and get my beauty rest. Uh, but tomorrow, I plan on it being a 110% better day. Okay, I'm just going to decide that right now. Hell, the rest of the day is going to be better. Okay, I'm just going to decide that now. Let's be honest. Any day where you get to shop and uh, look for new furniture and, and new desks and and flooring for a redecorated room is, is a good day, right? So um, that's what I'm going to be off to do. Uh, maybe I'll I'll ask you guys for some opinions because I'm thinking like going all like black, like with black, not like desk furniture. Right now I have like a dark cappuccino right now, but um, I'm thinking black. Maybe that's just the mood that I'm feeling right now. I'm wearing a black shirt. <laughs> I feel like Johnny Cash a little bit. <laughs> So, um, all right, guys, um, I am going to hit the road, and um, if you are not in my shift shop sneak peek page, then please go join. I will post the link, and um, today was uh, I posted a move of the day, um, so I'm going to be um, posting the, the move of the day uh, once, or move of the week, sorry. I'm posting a move of the week every week um, of my shift shop group up until the release. And there's some good moves in this program, guys. So I'm sharing some of those. Uh, so they're being, sh that that's today. The move of the week is being shared over in the in the shift shop uh, sneak peek page. So I will post the link uh, after I get off of this call and uh, feel free to join and I'll approve you in, okay? Oh, Tracy, your house, you have, you have black in your new house. I, I love the color black. Uh, you know, some people think it's, you know, kind of depressing or drab or whatever, but I think it's, timeless and classic. That's what I think. So um, I'm going to roll with that. So all right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you guys later.